everything is awesome when you're subtracting greater numbers using standard algorithm. How can we subtract numbers efficiently using standard algorithm? You have learned how to estimate differences. Remember that to estimate means to find an about answer, and differences is the answer to a subtraction problem. Let's estimate the difference between 342,156 and 24,358. When we estimate, the first thing we do is we round both numbers to the greatest place they have in common. The greatest place I see is the hundred thousandths place, but the number below does not have a digit in the hundred thousandths place. So let's look at the next one. They both have a digit in the ten thousandths place, so that is what we'll round to on both numbers. The top number rounds to 340,000. The bottom number rounds to 20,000. When we round these numbers, it makes it very easy for us to do it in our heads. 340,000 minus 20,000 equals 320,000. Later, when we find the actual answer, we know that it should be about 320,000. Now we can find the actual answer using standard algorithm. The first thing we'll do is we'll line up the numbers on top of each other instead of side by side. Next, we make sure that the places are lined up correctly. What do I mean by this? The ones are with the ones. The tens are with the tens, and so on, throughout the whole number so that we know that each place lines up with the one above or below it. Now we can start subtracting. We always start with the ones place. Here we go. Six minus eight equals, oh wait, we can't do that. We can't take away eight from six. That means we will have to regroup from the tens place. We have five tens, so let's take one of those so that there's four tens left. And now that one ten that we took can be added to the six ones we already have. Six plus ten equals sixteen. Now we can subtract. Sixteen minus eight equals eight. Make sure you write this eight underneath the ones place. Now let's subtract the numbers in the tens place. Four minus five, oh, Again, we can't do that. Let's regroup from the hundreds place. Let's take one of our hundreds, so now we have zero there, and 100 equals 10 tens. 10 tens plus four tens equals 14 tens. 14 minus five equals nine. Now let's subtract the hundreds place. We can't take three away from zero, so we need to regroup from the thousands. 10 minus three equals seven. Now let's subtract the thousands place. We can't take four away from one. Let's regroup. 11 minus four equals seven. Now let's subtract the 10 thousands place. Three minus two equals one. And finally, we're left with just the three in the hundred thousands place. Since we're not subtracting anything, three minus nothing, equals three. All right, our answer is 317,798. Hmm, but how can we be sure? Let's use inverse operations to check our answer. Inverse means opposite. So what's the opposite of subtraction? Addition, of course. We can use addition to check our answer. All we need to do is take the answer from our subtraction problem Add back the amount that was taken away and see if we get the original number. When we add them together, we get 342,156. Wow, that's the same as our original number. That means we subtracted correctly. 342,156 minus 24,358 equals 317,798. Great job, guys! In this lesson, you learned how to subtract greater numbers using the standard algorithm.